In today's video, we will deal with the ideal guess laws and the kinetic theory of guesses. So we have here the ideal guess equation, where r is always constant with a value of 8.31 joule per kelvin multiplied by mole. This here is the universal guess constant. Now because the R is constant and when you have the number of moles constant and also when you have the temperature constant then you will have the first law which is the Boyle's law where the pressure is inversely proportional to the volume. Now this means that the pressure multiplied by the volume is equal to constant. So whenever the pressure increases, the volume will decrease. Now what if you have here Now what if we have here the temperature as changing and you have the pressure as constant. So we will have here the second law which is the Charles law whereby the volume is directly proportional to the temperature. So this means that V divided by T is equal to constant. So whenever the volume increases, the temperature will increase also. Now for the third law, let us say that the pressure is not constant and the volume in this case is constant. Then you'll have the third law, which is the Gay-Lussac's law. whereby the pressure is directly proportional to the temperature. So P divided by T is equal to constant. So whenever the pressure increases, the temperature will increase also. So let's start with this question. A tank having a volume of 0.1 meter cube contains helium gas at 150 atm. How many balloons can the tank blow up if each balloon is a sphere 0.3 meters in diameter at an absolute pressure of 120 atm? So we have here a tank. having a volume of 0 0.1 meter squared. This is at pressure 150 atm. Now they are asking how many balloons can we fill up if each balloon will have 0 0.3 diameter meters. So how can you solve this question? Now to solve this question, we will first find the volume of the each balloon. So the volume of the balloon will be equal to, because this is a sphere, the volume of the sphere is 4 over 3 pi r cube. So the volume would be equal to 4 divided by 3 multiplied by pi multiplied by the radius. Now this here is, is the diameter so we have to change it to radius. We will divide the diameter by 2 to get to the radius. So this will give us the radius as 0 
and then in the formula it's saying this here is cube so we will do cube now what is the volume here So we would like this is 9 over 2000 pi meters squared. Now the balloon here is at pressure 1.2 atm. So in order for us to get the number of balloons that can be filled up by this tank, we have to get the volume of this tank at this pressure. So let's just call this volume 1 and this pressure 1 and this will be volume 2 and this will be pressure 2. So we will use the formula P1V1 is equal to P2V2. This is Boyle's law. So P1 is 150 multiplied by V1 which is 0 0.1 is equal to P2 multiplied by V2 which we are looking for. We will divide both sides by 1.2 to get the volume as 12.5 meters squared. So this is the volume at this pressure. Now that we have the volume at this pressure, so we can find the number of balloons that we can get from this gas. So we have here 12.5 meter squared volume. We will divide this by the volume of the balloon, of each balloon. So 9 divided by 2000 pi. So this here is the volume of one balloon. Now when we divide this we will get the number of balloons as 884 balloons approximately now this question is a bit different from the previous one gas is confined in a tank at a pressure of 10 atm and a temperature of 15 degrees celsius if half of the gas is withdrawn and the temperature is raised to 65 degrees celsius what is the new pressure in the tank so we have here pressure of 10 atm and the temperature of 15 degrees celsius we also have here the temperature raised to 65 degrees celsius so we'll call this t2 and this t1 and this p1 they want the new pressure in the tank what is p2 Now they are also saying in the question, if half of the gas is withdrawn. Now what does this mean? This means that if the number of moles was 1, then it means that the number of moles will be half. So N1 will be 1 and N2 will be half. So what is the pressure? How can we get the pressure? Now one thing to keep in mind is that the temperature must be in Kelvin. So we will change this into Kelvin by adding 273. So when we add 273 here, we will get 288 Kelvin. And also this will change it to Kelvin by adding 273. So this will be equal to 338 Kelvin. Now if you're wondering why don't we change the pressure to 
Pascal then it is fine you can just leave it like this you will get your pressure 2 in ATM but if you change this into Pascal you will get the pressure 2 in Pascal so let us see now we have this these information how can we get pressure 2 which law will we use now if you are wondering how you can get it or if you are confused on how to get it just use this one formula p1 v1 divided by n1 r r1 t1 is equal to p2 v2 divided by n2 r2 t2 now in this case the r is always constant and the temperature is not constant and the number of moles is not constant but the volume is also constant here because no volume is changing so we will have the relation as p1 divided by n1 t1 is equal to p2 divided by n2 t2 now p1 we, has, uh, we have as 10 divided by n1 which is 1 multiplied by t1 which we got as 288 is equal to p2 which we are looking for divided by n2 which is half multiplied by t2 which is 338 kelvin so we'll do cross multiplication or we'll just multiply this here and we will get the answer so we'd have here p2 is equal to when you multiply this here we'll have half multiplied by 10 multiplied by 338 divided by 288 this will give us the pressure as five point eight seven ATM approximately. So now we will deal with the kinetic theory of gases. This question here. What is the total random kinetic energy of all the molecules in one mole of hydrogen at temperature of 300 Kelvin? With what speed will a mole of a hydrogen have to move so that the kinetic energy of the mass as a whole will be equal to the total random kinetic energy of its molecules? So we have two parts. Let us start with part A. In part A, they are asking for the total random kinetic energy. Now whenever you see that these words, total random kinetic energy, then know that you have three formulas. The formulas are N multiplied by half MV squared or 3 over 2 multiplied by N KBT or 3 over 2 multiplied by the number of moles multiplied by RT where N here is the number of all gas molecules and the KB here is Boltzmann constant And the R here is universal law, just law constant. So in the question, they give us the number of moles as one mole. So we have N as one mole. And they also give us the temperature as 300 Kelvin. So we have T as 300 Kelvin. So which formula will we use? It's obvious that we will use this formula because we know that the constant of uh, the universal constant is 8.31 so we all, we have all these the number of mole the constant and the temperature we will use this formula here so the formula is 3 over 2 n R T 
this will give us the total kinetic energy total random kinetic energy so we will have here 3 over 2 multiplied by the number of moles which is 1 multiplied by the universal gas law constant which is 8.31 multiplied by the temperature which is 300 Kelvin this will give us Three seven three nine point five. And because this is ki total kinetic energy, the unit will be joule per mole. Now that is for parts A. What about part B? In parts B, they are saying that with what speed do the mole of hydrogen have to move so that the kinetic energy of the mass it will be equal to the total random kinetic energy so they are saying that what will be the velocity or the speed when the kinetic energy is equal to the total random kinetic energy which we just got so the kinetic energy is half mv squared would be equal to 3739 now to get to the velocity, we will divide by m both sides, which is the mass, and we will multiply by 2 both sides. So this 2 and 2 will cancel out, and m and m will cancel out. So we have here the velocity or the speed is equal to 3739 times 2 divided by the mass in square root because we'll take square root both sides to get v because we have here squared so what is the mass here so what do you know we know that the mass is equal to the mole multiplied by the molar mass so the mass will be equal to we have one mole here one multiplied by the molar mass of hydrogen which is two grams so we'll get our mass as 2 grams but we have to change this to kilogram so we will multiply it by 10 power negative 3 to get it in kilogram so we will write here 2 times 10 power negative 3 kilogram now we can get our speed as when we calculate this here we will get our speed one nine three three point six and because this is speed the unit is meters per second now for this question here a cylinder contains a mixture of helium and argon gas in equilibrium at a temperature of 150 degrees celsius for a what is the average kinetic energy of each type of molecule and b what is the rms speed of each type of molecule so we have here the temperature given as 150 degrees celsius so we'll change this to kelvin by adding 273 which will give us 423 kelvin so what else do we have we we have here the helium gas and we have the argon gas so for the first part they want the average kinetic energy of each type of molecule now because they are in equilibrium and the temperatures are the same for helium and argon gas this means that even the average kinetic energy will be the same so we will just find the average kinetic energy for one type of molecule it would be the same with the other type of molecule now what is the formula the formula is 3 over 2 kb T. So this is whenever they ask you for the average kinetic energy of a molecule. 
Well, let us substitute the values and we will get our average kinetic energy. So we'll have here 3 divided by 2 multiplied by Kb, which is Boltzmann constant, which is always 1.38 times 10 power negative 23. So multiplied by 1.38 times 10 power negative 23 multiplied by the temperature, which is 4 to 3 for both of the gases. So we will calculate this and get eight point seven six times ten or negative twenty one because this is kinetic energy the unit will be joule now for part b what will be the vrms or the rm speed of each type of molecule now we know that the rms speed is equal to the square root of 2 multiplied by the kinetic energy of the molecule which we just got here divided by the mass of the molecule so this means that we have to get the mass of each type of molecule so let us start to get the mass of the helium now we know that the mass is equal to the molar mass divided by Avogadro's number so the mass of the helium will be the molar mass of helium which is 4 grams that will multiply it by 10 power negative 3 to get kilograms per mole divided by the Avogadro's number which is 6.022 times 10 power 23 this will give us the helium gas mass as 6.64 times 10 power negative 27 kilogram so you have the mass of the helium as 6.64 times 10 power negative 27 now let us kilogram now let us get the mass of the argon so the mass of argon will be the same formula we will use the molar mass of argon is 39 grams so we'll multiply it by 10 power negative 3 to get it in kilogram per mole now we'll divide this by the Avogadro's number to get Six point four seven six times ten power negative twenty six kilogram. So the mass of the argon is six point four seven times ten power negative twenty six. Now we can get the velocity of H. So here we will do the velocity of the helium and here we will do the velocity of argon. So we will substitute it in this equation here. So we will have here the velocity is equal to 2 square root of 2 multiplied by the kinetic energy which we got as 8.76 times 10 power negative 21 divided by the mass of helium which is 6.64 times 10 power negative 27 this would give us so we do also for argon the square root of 2 multiplied by 8.7 times 10 power negative 21 divided by the mass of argon which is 6.47 times 10 power negative 26 which one would give us when we calculate this This will give us 1624.36 meter per second, 
open this it gives us 520 meters per second and this here is the speed of each molecule so for question number nine if two mole of a gas is confined to a five liter vessel at a pressure of 8 atm what is the average kinetic energy of a gas molecule so what do they want they want the average kinetic energy which is the kinetic energy of the molecule of the gas molecule how to find this whenever they say average kinetic energy of a gas molecule you will use 3 over 2 multiplied by Boltzmann constant multiplied by the temperature now in the question we have here volume of 5 liters we also have pressure of 8 atm and we have uh, the number of moles as 2 so how can we get the temperature we will use the ideal gas law equation PV is equal to nrt so to get to the temperature we will divide by nr both sides so the temperature will be equal to PV divided by nr but one thing to keep in mind here whenever you're working with an individual formula like this of ideal gas laws you have to change this volume to meter cube and you have to change this pressure to Pascal so let's just change this to meter cube we will divide by a thousand which will give us 5 times 10 power negative 3 or we can just write it as 0 0.005 which is the same now how about the pressure to, to change this into Pascal we will multiply by 1.013 times 10 power 5 so this will give us 810400 Pascal now that we have the units all right we can get to the temperature by substituting the values so the temperature would be equal to the pressure which is 810400 multiplied by the volume which is 0 0.005 divided by the number of moles 2 multiplied by the universal gas law constant which is always 8.31 so our temperature will be 243.8 Kelvin now that we have the temperature we can get the average kinetic energy so the average kinetic energy would be 3 over 2 multiplied by the Boltzmann constant which is 1.38 times 10 power negative 23 multiplied by the temperature which is 243.8 as we got so the answer here would be 5.046 times 10 power negative 21 joule